all out for you in the different um, stages that they are in. So the first one here, we have the chair as it was, how I picked it up and what I used on it. So I've got the sanding block right here, which was really easy to use, nice to hold, and just kind of gave a rough sand to the chairs. And then I used just plain vinegar and water and a cloth to wipe it down and uh, clear all the dust off the chairs. So that is all the prep you need to do. And uh, then you're ready for your first coat. So this paint will literally adhere to wood, metal, glass, I think plastic too. So this, what you're looking at now, is the first coat on um, a chair that I did. You can see, you can kind of still see the wood through these spots here, but that's okay, because it's gonna get a second coat. And uh, it was really easy to paint this one because it's nice straight runs of wood, except when you get down to the legs, <laughs> and then you have the turn spindles. So with that, you just need to take a little bit more care and uh, make sure you get right into the little grooves. And also I found painting the chair upside down was really helpful to get the underside and the spindles. So here we have the red chair, which turned out really nice. I'm really happy with it. Um, the red doesn't cover quite as much as the um, other colors do. You can kind of still see the wood grain through it, but I'm really happy with the vibrancy of the color. And then we have the yellow chair. So the yellow chair was a lot of work because you can see it's quite intricate and detailed. So we did our first coat and then uh, had to go back and do the second coat. What I found with this one, because it is a little bit more detailed, is you really had to take your time um, around the, the corners and the edges and uh, double check your work. And I went back with like a teeny tiny little brush and evened out the paint in all the holes. Because as you were painting with the big brush, the paint was collecting in the holes. So we, uh, we evened that out nicely. I can see the, the turned arm, hand, arm posts and the turned legs. So yeah, this one took a little bit longer, but that's cool. And this is just some fabric that I picked up and uh, recovered the chair with it. And then onto the blue chair. So this blue chair, again, turned out really nice. Uh, I think what I'm going to do here is sand the top rail of the chair and a couple places where you'll find that it gets wear. Um, and then when I've kind of roughed it up, and probably on the corners of the legs too. Once I've roughed it up, I am going to put a clear coat on it. So that'll be the blue chair. So these are the supplies that I use. So here we have the different colors of fat paint, just regular brushes. Actually, we used all different brushes because that's what I had. Um, the round brush was nice to get into all the little nooks and crannies. So one of these little containers did one chair and I actually have uh, more paint left over in the large ones to be able to paint another project. So now I'm at the stage where I am going to do the clear coat. And this is just a um, matte clear coat. Let's turn that around. Dead flat it's called. And uh, it is low VOC, non-yellowing. And it's just going to make our chairs nice and durable for sitting at tables. So that's the update to our fat paint chairs. They're almost done and ready to go into the kitchen.